Hey there, so I'm back with a form tip. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about um, planks and then also when we flip over to our backs doing abs. So plank work, I always say stack your plank in class. So what I mean by that is you want to, first of all, really spread your fingers apart because you want to take the pressure off your wrists. And if your hands are kind of like meh, like this, not really supporting the weight, all the weight is going to your wrists, okay? But if I really spread my fingers apart and root into my mat like I'm also um, almost um, suction cups, then there's a better um, stability and more pressure off your wrist because you're putting it in your fingertips as well. So those hands are directly underneath your shoulders with um, jazz hands, I call them, and suction cup fingers. Okay, not so much suction that you, you have this happening where there's space underneath. You wanna really press that whole hand in, but I'm just gripping a bit more with my fingertips. Okay, so that's one. So here's the front view. Hands right underneath your shoulders here. And then also, shoulders are down your back, so don't go into your plank like this, okay? Draw those shoulders down your back. Um, something else that I say is fill the space in your lower back. And what I mean by that is we do a cat and cow, right, in yoga. And then there's this neutral spine position, and that's this right here. So I'm still filling in this space of my lower back, and I'm not releasing in my lower back. So fill that space. So once you find those two things stacked and filled, then you can step it back to that plank. Okay, so there's your plank. Um, when you're doing push-ups, uh, I have kind of wider shoulders, but it's just really depending on uh, where you are with your shoulder girdle. But I go a little wider than shoulder width. And when I see push-ups, sometimes people are too narrow and then their elbows are like going out to a, a diagonal back. I have mine wider and I bring them out to the sides. Okay, just showing you my upper body. So push-ups are like this, they're not like in between that. There's, there's a Pilates push-ups or chaturangas where the elbows go into your um, rib cage, but a regular push-up should be wider. I kind of angle my fingers a little bit too instead of having them flat. This just feels better on my wrists. Okay, so you just really have to listen to your body, but just check that you're, you're making those elbows go out, sorry, I'm a little crooked, out to a 90 degree angle out to the sides. Okay, so here's the front view out to the sides. Okay, and then if I modify it, I just have my knees down. So modify. Knees are down, but I still have that back filled in. Okay, like that. So there's your push-ups and your plank. So now I'm gonna go over when we're on our backs doing abs. Um, same idea of filling in that space. So when you're on your mat, I always say you don't want this space with an arched back. You want to actually press your navel into your spine. So now I, there, I can't put my hands, my fingers underneath my back. I'm imprinting my spine onto my mat. So you want to keep that position and that's engaging your abs, pressing them in. Because when we work our abs, we want to work them leaning in, not pushing, pushing them out, right? You don't want this happening. So we're leaning them in. So when we do our crunches, I'm lifting my shoulder blades off the mat, keeping space out of my um, chest, so the space between my chin and chest, keep that space. This is a crunch, and I exhale as I come up, and I'm pressing my navel to my spine as I come up. Pilates is a little different, so I reach my arms overhead, my lower back is still, so this is where you can really arch and have that bad form, still gotta fill in that space. When I reach overhead, I actually curl my chin into my chest so the pressure's off my neck, and then I'm using my abs, pressing my navel in, and then same thing, I'm looking at my navel, pressing it in and in, imprint my spine, keep it there to reach overhead, okay? So when we do modified stuff with the hands underneath our butt, it's kind of messing up this idea of pressing your um, lower back into the mat, but still think about doing that. So engaging and filling that space. Anytime we're doing this kind of stuff, this just protects your back more. So if I took this away, 
I'm still keeping my lower back on the mat. Okay, it's a lot harder, and then it's gonna pooch out more, so that's why I like to do the modified, because I make sure I don't do that. Okay, um, but yeah, so that's the idea of filling this space in your lower back. <laughs> 